This is a nine mark question. It's amount of substance A and B. So have a go at it and then review the answer once you've tried both parts. Here's part A. And here's part B. Okay, so part A is an ideal gas equation question. So I'm going to recommend that you start by writing out the five different components of the ideal gas equation on the page. Then you can start to work through to find the information that you can add in. I've got the 8.31 for the molar gas constant, 102 kilopascals for the pressure, my volume is 72 centimeter cubed, and my temperature is 373K. So I've got four components. I know I'm gonna be working out N. So that's classed as X. Because I've done it systematically, I can now systematically check if I need to change the units. And I do need to convert pressure into pascals and volume into meters cubed. So I make those changes here. At that point, I write out the expression, PV is NRT, rearrange to make N the subject and put all of those figures in. And we now have the number of moles of the gas. Now I don't want moles, I want the MR, but I've been provided with the mass of X as well. So I can calculate MR by taking M and dividing by N. Now my mass is 194 milligrams, so I need to convert to grams by dividing by 1000. And then I divide all of that by 0 0.00237 and I get a relative molecular mass of 82. You'll notice appropriate number of significant figures is 2. And that's because you can't go to more significant figures than the least significant figures provided in the question, and the volume was only provided to two significant figures. Moving on to part B, and we've got a relatively straightforward empirical formula calculation. Build up the table. I can put in all of the information that I can derive from the question or from the periodic table. It's a hydrocarbon, so I can work out by difference that I've got 16.3 of hydrogen, uh, that then adds up to 100%, and I can then do my M over MR for each and get my molar quantities. If I divide those by the smallest, I end up with 0.428 to 1, which isn't the most straightforward, and it's too far away to just round up the 0.428 to 0.5. So you need to play around a little bit with that to get to the 3 to 7 whole number ratio. Now that gives us an MR of 43, and our MR of the actual compound is 86, so I need to double those numbers, C6H14. Now, if you've struggled with the empirical formula, another way to think about this is what hydrocarbon would have an MR of 86, and you can work through the alkanes, that would get us to hexane here, and then you can work backwards to get to the 3 to 7 ratio. So there's different ways of tackling that question. 